Hey, so I am currently driving the uh, Polestar 2 dual motor performance. This is the latest version that has the upgraded battery, upgraded motors. Uh, so the single motor version of this now switched from front wheel drive to rear wheel drive. It's about uh, 355 kilowatts of power, about 450, 460 kilowatts. Uh, as you can see, I've got uh, currently estimated about 190 miles of range, 71% stated charge, or 70% stated charge. And I'm just on the west side of Ann Arbor, Michigan. Uh, and this car's got uh, Android Automotive uh, infotainment system with Google Automotive services built in. So it's got Google Maps. So I just wanna see how this handles uh, navigation to a destination that is beyond the current range of the car. So I'm gonna go navigate to Chicago Union Station. All right, Chicago Union Station, let's go. And as you can see, it shows that uh, my, oh, well, it did momentarily there show that uh, with my current state of charge, um, I would arrive in Chicago with minus 45% state of charge, which is obviously suboptimal. Um, it's about 240, 237 miles from my current location to Chicago. Uh, and um, so uh, they, it has automatically um, put in a charging stop along the way. You can see the charging stop is in uh, Kalamazoo, Michigan. And let's look at route details. <coughs> and the nice thing that uh, Google Maps does now uh, when it's built into a vehicle uh, and it has access to the vehicle data, uh, like the state of battery state of charge, uh, it knows how far you can go on the current state of charge, it knows what the estimate will be. So to get to Kalamazoo, uh, it's, it, it estimates that I'll get there, currently it's from 70% state of charge, get there with about 22% state of charge. And it's suggesting the Electrify America station there. Um, and it's suggesting a 40 minute charge stop at that location. And then proceeding on to Chicago and getting into Chicago with 10% state of charge. So that's actually quite useful. Um, yeah, it's kind of like what you get from apps like a better route planner, uh, which, uh, you know, again, will, uh, you can go into a better route planner, which was purchased last year by Rivian and is being integrated into their infotainment. Uh, but it's also still available as a separate app and a website. You can go in and put your, your vehicle information there, your starting point, your starting state of charge. Um, and then it can also do similar type of thing where it will suggest various routes. Um, but uh, you know what, uh, what Google's done here actually works pretty well. There's also some, some filters built in here so you can filter by uh, payment type um, or uh, you can also uh, filter, you know, if you just ask for uh, charging locations nearby, uh, it'll allow you to filter by charging speed. So very handy uh, feature, you know, as we get more and more EVs on the road um, for longer trips, you know, just that route planning. So you don't have to do as much of the route planning up front. You can do it on the fly if you have a car that has uh, Google Automotive Services and, and Google Maps built in now.